there are two poles a and b height of smaller pole a is 12 meter the angle of depression from top of pole b to the height and bottom of pole a are 30 and 60 degree find height of pole b okay this was just around the writing the question let me take you through the question first there are two poles a and b height of the smaller pole a so there are two poles a and b the height of the smaller pole a let me just create some more distance between the two of them let's call this as a let's call this as b we know that a is the smaller pole is 12 meter so this is 12 meter okay the angle of depression depression is what when it goes beyond your below your eye level from top of pole b to the height and bottom of pole a are 30 degree and 60 degree so let's say this is the height of pole b let's call this as point p okay so the angle of depression from p to the height let's say let's call this as h and to the bottom so this basically if you see this is going to be the horizontal line for the person who's looking at it the angle of depression will be these two angles one up to this point and one up to this point right or actually one up to this point and one up to this point let me just clear this up it's too much of a confusion the angle of depression of one this and the other one is larger one right so the angle of depression from the top of the pole b to the height and the bottom are 30 degree so height is this so angle of depression up to this point is 30 degree and this is 60 degree find the height of the pole so you have to find out basically pb So let's do something. We already know that this length is twelve meter. So let's draw one horizontal line. Okay. Now, because this is also a horizontal line, this is also a horizontal line. So you can safely conclude that these two are parallel. Similarly, this is also parallel to both of them. Right. Now, how do you find out the length of this side? so what you can do here is now given that let's call this as m given that pm is parallel to h was this point let's call this as o oh ph should be a transversal why because if these two lines are parallel any line which cuts through two parallel lines is a transversal line right hence angle pho should be equal to angle hpm is equal to 30 degree 
Why? Because these will be alternate angles. Let's have a look at this. Let's say you suppose you had P M, you had O H. Okay. This is the line which is cutting this. Okay, this is the angle of depression. This is 30 degree, so this has to be 30 degree. So these are alternate angles, right? So this becomes 30 degree. Similarly, since PM is parallel to, let's call it that QR. QR, angle PQR is equal to angle QPM is equal to 60 degree. Again, alternate angle. So this angle becomes 60 degree, right? Also, OR is equal to HQ. This is 12 meter, so this also should be 12 meter, right? Let's call OP is equal to X. Right? So now we can apply our trigonometric ratios. How? In triangle OPH, you know that this angle is 30 degree, right? Or wrong? Right. So if this angle is 30 degree, well, I think even before that, Okay, let's try with this only. Let's find out the relationship between OP and OH. Now OP and OH will be basically what? Side opposite to the angle and side adjacent to the angle. So tan. So tan 30 degree is equal to OP upon OH. OP we've taken as X. OH we don't know. Is equal to tan 30 degree. So value of tan 30 degree? 1 upon root 3. Call this as equation 1. Now in triangle PQR tan 60 degree is equal to PR upon QR. What's PR? PR is equal to x plus 12 upon QR is equal to tan 60 degree or which is root 3. Right, but OH is equal to QR. Why? Because this is a straight line, these two are straight lines, so the distance between them on both the sides should be equal. Okay, let's call this as Y. So we have X upon Y is equal to 1 upon root 3, and we have X plus 12 upon Y is equal to root 3. So x or rather y is equal to root 3x and here you get root 3y is equal to x plus 12 or y is equal to x plus 12 upon root 3. Now equating these two equations, both the sides you have y. So you can say root 3 x is equal to x plus 12 upon root 3. Multiply this here, so you get 3x is equal to x plus 12. 3x minus x is equal to 12. 2x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 6. Similarly, y is equal to root 3 into 2, 6 is equal to 6 root 3. Now what did we need to find out? We had got x is equal to 6 and we had to find out PR. So PR is basically nothing but OP plus OR which is this is 6, this is 12. So PR is going to be equal to 18 centimeter. That's your answer.